Tô aqui com o Gonzo do Bandsão Uncle, bem difícil falar esse nome, é uma das maiores bandas alemãs de rock and roll, metal. Cara, aí ele falou pra mim a guitarra que ele usa, os pedais, a dificuldade da neve. Cara, se liga nesse vídeo porque tá muito legal. Well, um, over the years I checked out many guitars, you know. When we started touring, I was a heavy Gibson SG player. And um, touring in, in Europe in the wintertime, summertime was very hard for the instrument because the neck was working a lot. So you had, for example, when, when, when the guitar was in the truck overnight, travels, I don't know, four or five hundred kilometers, ice cold outside, came on stage, the neck was working. So I changed to Fender guitars because um, of the maple neck and it's very easy, very much easier to handle. This is a brand new guitar that I just bought before we come down here to Brazil because of the maple neck. Um, Fender released the American Professional Series earlier this year and um, I always love Telecaster guitars with maple necks. When I do my music sing, I, with the Onkels I very rarely play them because Onkels is not a band for single coil pickups. You know, this of course has humbuckers, this is why I choose this Telecaster for the Onkels. But um, for my solo things I always use Telecasters with single coil humbuckers. With the big productions of the Onkels on stage with all the cameras, lights and everything, you cannot use a single coil guitar because you have, have crazy noise all the time. So this, this humbucker guitar works very fine for me and even because this guitar is brand new, I have to um, adjust the neck daily. You know, we were in Argentina before, in mm -hmm. Buenos Aires. Everything. A little bit different climate, yeah. So the neck starts working and, and you just have to, to take care about this. And you do it by yourself? I always do it by myself. I let nobody else uh, handle my guitars. I always do it by myself. I change pickups, I solder them, I change necks, I change everything. On, not on this guitar, but the guitars that I have home. You know, everything is changed, everything is maintenance. You are a very good guitarist and also a luthier. Yeah, not a luthier. That, that would be a little <laughs> bit too high, but a good maintenance guy for the guitars. <laughs> How do you tune your guitar? Um, with the Onkels we play in D-tune and I use um, Alexia strings, uh, 011 strings, which, which work very fine because um, the E and the A string are a, a little bit uh, thinner than with usual uh, 11 uh, sets that you have. We have here from, I think from 11 to 49 or something, uh, usually would be 11 to 52 or something inches or something, um, but that works out very fine. If I known that before that I would have used heavier strings because that would keep the the neck a little bit more in shape of the because it has more strength to hold the neck. So you see, this guitar is, has very, it's it's not very, uh, uh, they are not very stiff. They're very light, you know. So if I would I have used a, a, a more heavier string set, then the neck would have been more like this. So the the strings would hold the neck, mm -hmm. and the neck has no less chance to to work. But anyway, it works. Fender always does, so I'm happy with it. Usually this is the one that I'm on tour with here right now because this is like I usually would use for club gigs. This is the small solution that they have, it's called AX8 and you have one which is called FX2+, Plus, which is then for rec, a rec solution. But this has all in one, all has contains let's say, I don't know, probably 350-400 amplifiers. Uh, 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 speaker cabinets, all effects that you like to have. This is the first time that I'm down here in, in, uh, in, in South America that I'm using an amplifier. Haven't used it before. This thing is enough. It has everything inside. Which, which amplifier do you like to...? Um, I choose the Friedman amplifier in, in this setup, which is equivalent to a hot Marshall amplifier. So it sounds pretty like 
pretty equal. If you listen, I listen to this over the headphones, and this is just for going outside for the crowd. I see. I saw you playing. You don't change a lot of effects during. Your no, playing. never, you, never. You're staying just with the yeah. same. Yeah. I work with the volume pots of the guitar, mm -hmm. so I choose um, a very. A, a, a solo distorted sound that I like to have. I'm actually not a guy that uses heavy distorted sounds. It's, it's more like a advanced crunch sound. I use that for a solo. And if I like to have a cleaner sound, I turn down the volume and then I have a cleaner sound. So I don't have to use the, the, the board very much. Okay, if you have a, a ballad or a slow song, then I have a clean channel here, which I use. You know, this means clean rhythm comes from tour pitch. We had a song that was uh, with a pitch effect and this is solo but this is just never use it. You know why? Because um, stages are so big and when you run around on stages from left to right and my guitar gear is on the right side of the stage and when I'm on the left side I cannot run back and, and change Thanks. sound. So I get used to work with the volume knobs all the time. And when you use the wah wah? Some songs? Just, just for some songs. Yeah, just mm. for some songs. Ten years ago, five years ago, we traveled with a lot of trucks full with amps and cabinets and everything. And today you come with a little thing like this and say, okay, that's all that I have to bring make with me. Make life easier. Huh? Makes life very much easier, yeah. <laughs> Gons, thank you very much. Thank man. you very much, thank man. You. It was a pleasure to talk to you. Oh, pra Thank, you. Thank you very much. Thank you. É isso aí, galera. Na tela já tem o link pro Música Fácil para você se inscrever. Já tem o link do canal deles, também da banda. Ó. Passei as últimas duas semanas ouvindo e é muito bom. Também já tem mais um vídeo na tela para vocês ficarem aqui com a gente. Até mais.